Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. In today's short and sweet little video, we are gonna be covering the difference between shots and video. Basically going over what these widgets are, what they do, how they differ, when to use each one in different scenarios, and finally, how to style and implement each one for your projects. So I'd say let's grab our coffees and get right into it. So, if you've already done a little exploring around the ReadyMac editor, you'll likely have come across this funny little widget called Shots. It's an absolute ReadyMac classic and it allows you to turn a video or image sequence into stills that can be played or shown one by one when someone interacts with it, like by hovering over the widget or scrolling down the page. You can manipulate the speed at which it's played, the direction it moves in, all of that fun stuff. A good way to think of Shots is as an interactive video that plays as the user does something. Videos, on the other hand, are more self-explanatory. These are just normal videos that you can either embed in your project through uploading your own MOV or MP4 files, or through linking to a video hosted online, like on YouTube or Vimeo. There's still lots of customizing you can make to your video player and appearance, but the key difference here is that this is just a normal video that will play like a video and needs no real interaction to set it in motion. So now that we know the subtle but very important differences between shots and videos, when should we use each one? Excellent question. I'd say it's a stylistic choice where you need to consider the goals and intentions of your project. If you've got a video clip you want either playing consistently or looping endlessly, like say a show reel or a video background, definitely opt for a video. If you're creating a portfolio or site with video content, like if you're a videographer, creative director, content creator, film or animation studio, real estate company, then opt for embedding separate videos to ensure a clean video player experience for users where they can start, stop, and just consume your videos as they best see fit. Now, on the other hand, if you want a really cool sort of hero moment and a super eye-grabbing visual when users enter your site, opt for using shots. Shots are essentially a way to interact with a motion graphic, so you can get super creative here with how and when you implement shots. It can either be big front and center and a massive part of your design, or subtle and only used to bring motion into an otherwise static design. Important to note here though, is that shots will only ever be as good as the video you've created. They're not magic. In this ReadyMag user example, by overlay, this incredible 3D effect of these glasses wasn't created in ReadyMag. This was already done in the file uploaded and would have been created by uploading a transparent photo sequence as PNGs. These sequences could have been created in an external video program like Adobe After Effects or Premiere and then imported to ReadyMag where the shots widget brings the vision to life through interactivity. So now that we know what both are and when to use them, let us create one of each and learn how to customize them together. Okay, shots are up first. To add shots to your project, navigate over to your widgets panel and click shots. Now the properties toolbar will pop up and prompt you to upload a video file. Upload your video and now your playback options will pop up. Select the event or interaction that will activate your shot sequence. You can pick from hover, click, mouse, move, or scroll, and you'll notice that different settings have different options available. A really cool option here is to also work with triggers, which means that you can start a sequence by interacting with other widgets in your page, like setting your shots trigger to be some text or a button. Then once your beautiful shot sequence is in place, you can also animate it further in the animation toolbar if you want it to move around or appear on your screen when you work it into your larger design. Great. Okay, next let's customize a video player. Let's go into the widgets panel and click the video widget. Now you'll have the option between uploading a video or linking to a URL. Once that's in, your player settings will pop up. There's even more customization you can do here than with shots because you can really tailor exactly how you want your video player to look with custom colors, shapes, rounded edges, borders, opacity, and one of my personal favorites that I use all the time, the mouse over play and pause buttons. Beautiful. You can also style all of your videos differently. And while I'd say to maybe proceed with a little bit of design caution here, you can really get creative when playing around with video presentation here. Also, don't forget to check out the preset section in the widgets panel, as we've already got some really great pre-made video presets here that you can use with or without the use of additional triggers, just like how we went over with shots. Now, just for a final quick comparison, let's see shots and videos side by side to show how they react to different interactions. We're going to use just two easy presets. First, showing shots that are activated by a horizontal mouse move. And then a video that plays and pauses on click. 
Make sense? Good. I really hope this helped you get a better understanding of how to use both shots and videos in ReadyMag. They are both insanely powerful widgets and I really think that once you fully grasp the capabilities of both, you'll be able to come up with insane design ideas that can be powered by either. So as always, best of luck and happy designing.